surprise to you Mike but uh, certainly I'm more a quality oriented coach and, and someone who believes in you know mightily in stroke technique uh, heavily printed by the early days watching Paul Bergen at Nashville Aquatic Club and seeing uh, not just Tracy Calkins go up down the pool with like a 10, 10 out of 10 technical skills but also the people in the lanes next to her and the people in the lane next to her like they all look like they were swimming about the same way so at a in many ways in Las Vegas and then when I was coaching Las Vegas Gold and then uh, at Charlotte when I was coaching Swim Mac, the, that was sort of the goal was to, to get a, a team to where the, the, the technical aspects were taught in a sort of uniform way. And then as they got older, they, got, they could develop their own sort of tweaks as to how they swim. And can, you know, one of my most proud moments was walking in probably six or seven years into the, the Swim Mac job and walking onto the deck and uh, with Russ Castle and John Fadina and some, some excellent coaches that were working with the younger guys and, and, uh, and just walking along the deck and looking at the group and seeing zero swimmers overreaching in backstroke, seeing zero swimmers pulling back too far in breaststroke, seeing zero freestylers not using a six-beat kick. Everybody was using a six-beat kick. So those are things that to me are easy to understand, hard to implement. And if you don't, you know, build in expectations. If that's not your expectation, then athletes will fall short of your expectation if you don't require that expectation to actually come to fruition.